Welcome everybody to one hour of miniature goodness. Um, I can't hear myself think because my PC fan is absolutely spinning. I don't know if you can all hear it. And if you can, I apologize for the background ambience. <laughs> There's not a helicopter landing in my workshop, trust me. Uh, let me say hello to everybody. Uh, we've got Scorplet, Bold GM, Gareth's in the house. Uh, we have Rod's in the house and we have Moose's Touches in the house. We have Michelle. Awesome to and Corey's in the house. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, and Crip Monkey Studios is in the house. <laughs> Hello, Dawn. <laughs> Thank you for subscribing, Corey. Um, okay, let me just sort these out. This camera out for some reason. It's got a nasty little glare going. Now, for, um, I've been sent um, Wave 15 by WizKids Games. So a huge, huge shout out to V from WizKids Games, who is uh, supporting me in my job, in my work. Um, it's just incredible that uh, WizKids, such a big company like WizKids, are actually sending me miniatures to, you know, play with. <laughs> so let's make a start. Uh, we'll start with the small miniatures first. Um, we got the human bard. I put it on this little spinny, little spinny thing. Now these, this time they're all actually in their packaging. So what I'm going to do is the larger miniatures. I'm going to remove them from them from the packaging so you can actually see the miniatures um, because in the packaging you're not getting um, such a actually I won't use that it's gonna be too slow what we'll do is I'll just hold the miniatures and we can see the detail inside the packs a little bit easier than spin them spinning them around so we've got the human bard here I think all these miniatures are being released in the shops um, at the end of this month, beginning of July. Um, so these are all kind of first to see kind of thing. Got the hobgoblins. Hobgoblin fighter and hobgoblin wizard. Let's see if we can get some better focus for you all. And get a bit closer. Now, how about that? Like I say, when we get to the larger miniatures, I'll open the package in so uh, we can put them on the turntable so you can see what we have. Now, as always, the uh, miniatures from WizKids normally come in blister packs of maybe one, two, three, even four minis sometimes. Um, so you do get um, very good value for money uh, with these blister packs. Hello, James. <laughs> so I'm just going to slowly go through all these miniatures. So if you've got lots of questions and things to say in chat, just shout them out and do whatever you like and enjoy. <laughs> We've got Plain Tower. Like I say, if I say any names wrong, just give me a shout out and say that I'm a nooblet. <laughs> I'm very happy, by the way, that uh, some of my uh, patrons, my goblin patrons, are deciding to go back to my weekly goblin paint. Um, it's not an easy task. Um, it's a huge challenge to paint new miniatures, but it is a lot of fun. Um, so uh, keep keep on painting, and you'll get there. And like I say, I am giving certificates out for um, as rewards when you get to certain stages in the painting. This is a beautiful miniature. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful. Tell me if you can see everything okay and it's uh, clear enough. And if you want to see a closer, uh, closer view of the miniature or if you want me to take one out of the box, I am quite happy to take anything out of the box to show you if you want a closer look. Impressive wingspan, yes, definitely. Let me see, it's back a little bit. Well, I'll give you the name because I can't pronounce that there. <laughs> but what I can do is I can actually go a bit closer and then we can get some more focus and we can actually see these minis. There we are. Look at 
I do hope my PC fan is not too annoying. Um, it is very, very loud at the moment. Um, we are having like some kind of heat wave at the moment, and uh, my workshop is at the back of the house where the sun is going down, so we're getting the full impact of the heat at the back here. Yes. Um, the thing is, Corey, uh, there's only so many miniatures they can possibly do. Um, so they're going to have to start, as they call it, scraping the barrel for the, the rare type <laughs> miniatures because um, they've done all the main, as they call the main races and characters. So now they have to start, you know, either doing the different sculpts like the Dragonborn here, um, or they're going to be doing different types of races as well. Uh, the more not heard of ones, should I say. Mm hmm. I mean, um, I was actually talking to Scorpla earlier today um, because she was talking to one of her work colleagues about Dungeons and Dragons because she's always ta in work uh, talking online to her her boss and that and uh, and they ask oh, how does your Dungeons and Dragons game work woman? how do you play it and the rules and um, I mean Claire was trying to explain that the rule book is like over a hundred pages long and then you got all the supplements and the extra rule books um, it's actually quite a, a, a huge game to really get involved in um, I mean we do start with the basics of course but it is such an involved game, Dungeons and Dragons. Um, it can be a little bit daunting for a lot of new players, um, especially with all the books. Mm. This is these these are very very nice. Yes, yeah, so and those are gorgeous. Okay, if you want to, um, if you want to type into um, chat, give me a free mini for all my all my patrons that are on a painted tier. I will send you um, a random blister pack of one of these miniatures to the winner, whoever gets drawn. I will send a random pack from today to you. So that's it. Give me a free mini. That's the one. Give me a free mini. <laughs> oh, headbutt in the old. Got the Telflings. Now, I really like Telflings. Telfling Sorcerer. It still blows my mind that um, uh, WizKids, WizKids games are sending me all these uh, minis. Uh, I mean, it's absolutely amazing. Uh, I mean, I'm I, I, I'm such a I'm such a you know small little tiny business compared to most people. Um, and I, I, it's just it's just the support is incredible. Um, it, you know, lost for words most of the time. It's, Absolutely incredible. Hello, wise one. So we got the, the orc, half orc paladin. Sorry, I didn't say the name. Let's see if we can sort this light out. It's a little bit too. There we are. That's a bit better. The light was reflecting off the plastic there. I'm trying to get um, a good focus for you all. I'll see if I can get a bit close. There we are. The closer I get, the more I got to focus in but it's worth it to see the actual miniatures. Got some fantastic detail in these sculpts. Very big swords. Only a half orc would be able to carry them probably. <laughs> Hi Tal. Tal's in the house.
you do know that, um, hey Tal, you do know that uh, Wiz Kids do pre-painted minis. <laughs> for, for the for the for the people who um, don't really want to paint. <laughs> Evening. <laughs> Let's see if we can get a bit closer. That's actually I'll zoom out a tiny bit and get some more focus. Let's see. There we go. Oh, my dad's in the house. You got it working then. My my uh, my dad got in touch with me. Um, I think it was this morning. He watched um, he watched this show on uh, Monday, and he was telling me he couldn't um, go into chat. Um, <laughs> I blocked him. No. <laughs> yeah. Hi, Scottish Andy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <clears throat> Moving on. Right, we got Dragonborn Fighter this time. Dragonborn Fighter. If I move this forward a little bit, we stop getting that reflection from the light. Like I say, all these miniatures should be available um, in July. So having a little preview of the unpainted miniatures is just a treat. It's awesome stuff. What I like about the um, the WizKids packaging is on each package they have um like um a very what i'd call a basic tabletop standard paint of the miniatures on the back there um so it actually gives you a really nice reference guide for when you paint your miniatures um as you can see you've got your basic colors there and of course once you've added those basic colors you can easily highlight them and make it more advanced and just add a little bit more here um, but it's a nice way to um, get the correct colours for what you're looking for on your miniatures. Um, and I think um, just adding these to the back of every pack to show you the colours is a great way to get into painting. Now I need to find room now to start plonking my stuff. So I'll put that down there. Some nice poses here. <laughs> I apologize to anybody who's going to be watching this on YouTube and wondering why I'm laughing. It's just chat is a bit crazy they're just a bunch of nutcases <laughs> I like the way they are using all these um, the see-through plastic for all the spell effects um, it's, a, it's a nice way to actually get um, a more stronger colour um, and brighter colours for the spell effects and as I've shown you in some of my painting tutorials um, actually painting the clear plastic um, isn't as hard as um, it looks um, and of course um, it's very simple just to brighten up all the different uh, spells spell effects using some ink wash Right, Stone Defender and Oaken Bolter. This is very, very, I love this one at the bottom here. 
That is very, very cool. <laughs> so everybody's making me laugh and then I'm wobbling. <laughs> I hope you can all see uh, everything okay or, um, in the blister packs. Um, like I say, I will open up the larger ones so uh, we can have a proper look at those ones. Yeah, this this one here at the bottom there, that is absolutely gorgeous. I I don't know. I, it's just it's just me, I suppose. But uh, I think I think it looks fab. That's definitely going to be one of the first ones I paint up. That looks awesome. I like that. Very, very nice. Ah, lizard folk. <laughs> That's just so wrong. <laughs> Remember, if you are on my, uh, if you are one of my painted tiers, uh, or my Patreon. Uh, if you want to have a free miniature to enter, give me a free mini in chat um, so my lovely partner Scorpler can take your name and put you on the wheel of pain. I like the way they've got the old uh, Moican. <laughs> it's, it's very nice. Can't get the focus in there. Yeah, that's a bit better. It's a delicate sculpt. This is very nice. These are the crawling claws. Crawling claws. Very, very nice. It's actually easier to show you the back. It doesn't glare so much. Um, that's very nice. <laughs> okay, we, we actually are nearly to the end of this box. Yay, we got some goblins. Goblin rogue and goblin bard. Nothing wrong in goblins. Goblins everywhere. Let's see if we can get some more focus. More focus. Mm. 
There we go. Goblin Bard. That's an unusual, that's a very unusual miniature. Yes, I do um, totally agree with chat there. Um, I would absolutely love to see more female goblins, um, orcs, um, any of the beasties we have. Um, definitely, definitely, definitely. Yes, I, I really like. Um, I like it that they've got a bard, because um, I've not. I don't think I. I don't think I've seen a bard in a goblin. Goblin bard, awesome stuff. Awesome stuff. Okay, moving on. Okay, bugbears. We all love bugbears. Let's get back out with some focus again. How's that? That's better. These are nice bugbears. Bugbears always look awesome um, in my dungeons. Bugbears, goblins, kobolds. Like I say, all these miniatures should be available in July. Ooh, oh, my my dad's just my dad's just dug himself a grave saying that. <laughs> yeah. What female would want to be an ugly goblin? That's what my dad just said. And he said that in the middle of the Goblin Army, where nearly a third of all my patrons are ladies. <laughs> or young goblins, should I say. <laughs> okay, we're getting on to the larger minis now. we got the Deaf Tyrant. This is absolutely beautiful. What I'm going to do, um, these larger minis, I'm going to take these out of the packaging so we can have a closer look-see at the miniature. And have a little spinner Rooney on the 360 machine. Let's see. Uh, I've got to be careful now because I don't want to cut my fingers on show. Remember, if you're, you have to always cut away from yourself when you open packages, packagings, packages. That's the back of the packaging. Deaf Tyrant, absolutely gorgeous. Mm. Okay, let's see if we can get him on my little wheel of pain. Stick him on there and give you a little better. Wee a bit closer. Yes. Okay, I'm going to dump all this rubbish in the boxes. How are we doing for focus? There we go. That's about as good as it's going to get. Let's move this across. Too much light. There we are. Sorry about the wobbling. There we are. That's a bit better. That's a nice mini, eh? That's a nice mini. That is a deaf tyrant, which I would say is your zo <laughs> is your <laughs> is your eye of the beholder with its skin falling off. <laughs> Which is actually what it is. 
Okay, absolutely beautiful. I'm going to put that over there. That will be definitely going on to one of my painting shows. In fact, all the large minis. I love painting the large minis, all the monsters. Um, next one. Let's move this away so I show you the miniature. We've got Bone Claw. Bone Claw. Bone Claw. Absolutely gorgeous. There's some really, really nice larger miniatures in this collection it's um it's very very exciting um i can't wait to get more painted up so plenty of plenty of content for my whiz kids channel in the uh, coming months with all these awesome new miniatures to paint so let's get this one out of the box and show you as well That's a beautiful, beautiful miniature. Okay, moving on to the next one. Come on, speed up. <laughs> okay, moving back with the Wheel of Pain. And it's Hag. This is very, very nice. This, oh, would be would help if I actually had it in front of the camera. This is absolutely beautiful as well. These some of these sculpts are just great, absolutely fab. Right, let me get this out of the package and give you a three sixty of it. Like I say, all these uh, miniatures will I will be doing a painting tutorials um, every every Thursday um, between seven and eight o'clock UK time. If you want to pop in and watch the goodness unfold before your very eyes. <laughs> Go away! Stop there. That's the boy. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> That's everybody in the morning, I think. Yes, very, very nice. Like I said, I haven't seen these myself yet. These these miniatures um, actually arrived today. So all I've done is, is I've opened the boxes quickly and put them to the side. Um, so this is the first time I've actually started seeing these miniatures myself too. Um, and this is why I'm all sort of wee. <laughs> Okie dokie then. Um, we've actually nearly come to the end. I've only got a few more large miniatures to show you. And I've got some Magic the Gathering miniatures to show you as well, sorry. Um, now, my, some of the boxes, some of my boxes got a little bit crushed, I'm afraid. Um, just a couple. Um, when, when they came from the States. Uh, as you can see, this box got a little bit damaged in the post. But this is the Ballista. Let me get the focus back. This is the Ballista. I won't take this one out of the packaging, um, but it's just the, the ballista there in the centre there. But I'll give you a good little 360 of the actual box. Uh, 
I mean, most of the items that came in the box, they all arrived perfectly. But I had two little boxes that got little, a little bit crushed. Um, but these things happen. I mean, it's coming all the way from America, so um, you can't expect to have everything arrive in mint condition. Thank you for subscribing, Geek Curio, Andy, and thank you, Michelle, again. Michelle's going to have to have a boosty bonus, I reckon. <laughs> right, so we got the uh, ballista. Um, now, you also get the trebuchet, which is very, very nice. Now, I'm going to take I'm going to take this one out of the box for you because to see it because it's a bit difficult to see in the box. But I'll give you an idea. Like I say, I will be doing little paints of all these. So um, each week I'll be doing one of these up. Um, because they're absolutely fantastic for scenery and dioramas and all that type of stuff. But let's get this one out of the box just so I can show you uh, what we're up to. Let's get a little bit of height. There we are. One second. All right, well, it um, should just come away. Let's have a look. There we are. Oh, perfect. This is very, very nice. Let's get this on the turntable, on the spinny, 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 spinny. Wheel of pain. There we are. That is going to look absolutely amazing on anybody's tabletop. I, that is awesome. Castle Siege, anybody? Yes, uh, Rod, this is uh, this is going to be awesome to paint. Um, I've already got ideas in my head how this is going to play out for this one. Um, I mean, you know I, I love uh, painting wood and all that type of stuff anyway. Um, so, yeah, this is definitely, definitely perfect for me for painting. I absolutely love it. But, yep, yeah, it's a definitely, uh, definite must-have mini. Very nice, very nice indeed. Now, I'm afraid I can't tell you all the prices because they're, they're going to be different in each country, in the UK and the USA. Um, so all you've got to do anyway is go on to the WizKids website and you'll find out all the different prices. And of course, depending on your local game shop, you're going to have different prices anyway. Okay, let's... Um Let's start moving on to the mid-range. We're starting to get onto the bigger minis again. Now, this is the Nightwalker. The Nightwalker is absolutely gorgeous. Um, and the first thing I thought of when I saw this miniature, and I don't know if you're going to think the same, is I thought of Pan's Labyrinth, that movie. It, apart from it hasn't got the eyes in the hand, but I'm sure there's inspiration there from that movie. Now, I don't know if anyone, any, any of you have watched uh, Pan's Labyrinth. Um, if you uh, speak Spanish, it's, uh, it's a good film if, if with subtitles anyway, but if you speak Spanish uh, or understand a little bit of Spanish, it's even more fun. <laughs> Right, I'm going to take this one out of the box for you guys because it's awesome and it's definitely going on my painting list. So let me get it out of the box. And you'll get a much better view of the miniature on the turntable. Oh, Pan's Labyrinth uh, is an absolute gem. It's a gem of a movie. Absolutely gem. The only bit of the movie, the only bit of the movie 
that really made me feel weird and icky was when the uh, officer uh, broke that guy's face in with um, a glass bottle at the beginning and that really kind of there's something about that scene that just turned my stomach I don't think it needed to be on the movie <laughs> okay we got the little twisties little twist do the mini twist <laughs> do the mini twist There we go. Come to daddy. There you go. <laughs> yeah, you, you definitely get a much better idea of what the miniatures are like out of the packaging. Now then, let's get some focus so we can get this clear so you can see it. It's a large mini, but we do need focus. We do need focus. There. Mm. Yeah, it's beautiful. I see they've got some um, translucent on the back of the miniature. Um, so you've got either flames or spell effects. Um, absolutely gorgeous. Um, this is going to be an absolute blast to paint. I'm going to love that one. It has a glowy back, yes, a glowy back. <laughs> oh, shadowy. Oh, shadow. Corey comes in, it's a shadowy back, Mikey, a shadowy back. <laughs> you can always tell when there's a game master in the house, can't you? <laughs> you probably said, um, I mean, the name on the box probably gave it away. <laughs> That's an absolutely gorgeous mini. Absolutely gorgeous mini. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Okay, well, enough for that one. Another quick little look, see close up. Another quick closer look at the face details because I think it's very gruesome, but awesome. I mean that's creepy. That that that's uh, that's a miniature of nightmares. That that is creepy as hell. <laughs> Okay, we have the Warforged Titan. Um, and it's, uh, I apologise for my in and out of the focus. Uh, my webcam is not the best for autofocus. It autofocuses on anything but the miniature, so I have to do it by manual. This is nice as well. Um, it's got a. It's, it reminds me of. Um, I won't say the name of the company, but it reminds me of um, a certain type of miniature from a different company uh, that do like um, a space type game. <laughs> yes. Let me get it out of the box for you, so we can get a better look. There we are. Let me show you the back. I mean, that's how I'd paint it as well on the back there. That looks fab on the back. That's exactly what I was thinking of. Um, that's what I was thinking of, Corey. Let me just get this. Uh, I've got some more of these little ties on the back here.
There we go. All out. Let me just put this away here. It's like Christmas time every time I do an unboxing for WizKids because there's boxes and cardboard all piled up everywhere. <laughs> There we are. I mean, these are, these are very nice sized miniatures. Very steampunk, should I say. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Now, Clara, Clara, Clara and myself, or Scorpio and myself, I should say, um, we're very much into steampunk, um, so we do like anything, especially the dwarf steampunk. Um, and we like all that uh, retro, retro tech, as we call it. That's a very nice mini. Okay, let's move on to the next one. The next one is absolutely beautiful. Now we're moving on now to the young blue dragon. This is the new blue dragon. Um, this is nice. Now we all love dragons, but the sculpt on this one is just superb. Um, I will be taking this out of the box for you now. So let me take this out of the box and I'll show you the blue dragon. Has my uh, PC fan been uh, very, very annoying through the show? And I, I do apologize, it's so hot here. My PC fan is really getting quite loud. I'm not sure if my microphone actually is removing the sound from the... Uh... You can't hear it. Awesome. Well, I got one of those little snowball microphones and it's got it's supposed to um, take away background sound so obviously it's doing its job well. I'm just going to snip through this one because it's got it's actually tied into a tub of knots there. There we go. And here we go. So this is the young blue dragon, absolutely gorgeous. Now I think what I'll probably do is I'll try and move the wings out, I'll probably do that heat effect and I'll probably move the wings out a little more to make it a little bit more easy for painting for myself. Yes, it wouldn't surprise me if you've all got your fans going full blast so you can't actually hear my fan. <laughs> I, I, I know everybody in the USA and Europe at the minute are absolutely roasting. I mean, I know it's um, hot over in S uh, Scotland today, but it's nothing compared to what you poor guys are having over in the rest of the world. So I do feel sorry for you all. Lots of ice cubes is needed. And you need to stay nice and moist. <laughs> Hello, Mokai. Okay, so that is the last dragon of this um, collection. 
Right, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you the last miniature. I've got Magic the Gathering miniatures, but I want to do that in a different show because um, um, it's a different, um, it's not Dungeons and Dragons. So what I'll do is I'll show you the last miniature for today. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> and I shall do the Magic the Gathering miniatures um, on a, a YouTube video. Okay, so the last dragon of the day is the adult white dragon and I need some space <laughs> so I need to move this back um, we're gonna take this off here the finale of the evening is this massive great big huge <laughs> adult white dragon now you know whiz kids already have done an adult white dragon which i've got as well as um well imagine that dragon at um twice the size <laughs> okay this is the box <laughs> It's absolutely massive. Okay, let's get some. Okay. You can't, I, I, it's actually too big for my table. One second. I'll get it out of the packaging to show you. It would probably be a lot easier, but I want to show you the packaging it comes in. Yes, um, with the heat, um, please uh, be careful with all your minis because they uh, they can actually warp. Um, it is not recommended to have any plastic or resin miniatures by your windows. Um, that is not a good idea. Okay, so I'm going to open this box to show you the final miniature for tonight. If I can find the entrance. I never had that problem before. There we go. Okay, so moving on to the last dragon. I can almost get my head in the box. <laughs> wow. Okay, okay, slowly, 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 slowly. Magic trick, magic trick. There you go, over there. Okay, I'll put you over there. Oh. Yes. Okay. Oh, wow. There we are. Awesome stuff. Awesome stuff. Okay. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Let's get the old wheel of pain out for this. Look at that. <laughs> yeah. Okay, go that way around then. You don't want to go the other way around. Okay, let's get some light sourcing here so you can see what I'm doing. Very, very difficult. Such a big miniature. One second. That is a big mini. That is a big mini. That is absolutely gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Let me see if I can get some focus for you. Come on, good focus. Um, I shall put my little scale mini here so you get an idea of the size. There he is, the tiny human sized whisked mini is at the bottom there. That's just to give you a scale of how big this white adult dragon is. Absolutely mental size big. <laughs> Absolutely gorgeous, eh? Absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> Those wings are longer than my future. Love it. Absolutely love it.
Anyway, so there we are. All my lovely goblins. I hope you really enjoyed this little unboxing. Uh, this is all the uh, miniatures from uh, Wave um, 15 that I've been sent. I have got some Magic the Gathering miniatures, um, but I will do them in a YouTube video or, or on another show. So thank you all so much for joining me for this unboxing. It's absolutely great fun. I have made an absolute mess of the workshop. It's absolutely disgusting on my floor now. Um, so I'm going to be busy doing that, tidying up. Thank you again, everybody, for coming in to see me. Um, the winner will be announced on my Discord for the free mini. And um, I will say goodnight to everybody. Um, love to every single one of you. And I shall be back on Monday doing some Reaper miniatures. So, you take care, and I'll see you soon.